Runway has been posting a lot of cool videos of their new multi-motion brush tool, but I wanted to see how well it really worked. I'm gonna take some time to walk through animating these images, but if you're in a rush, there are chapter links in the description. Multi-motion brush gives you five brushes you can paint directly on an image. Each allows you to move an object in single or multiple ways. Vertical, up or down, horizontal, left or right, proximity, which is near or far, and this one called ambient, which is good for things like smoke, clouds, water. All right, so that covers the basics. Now we're gonna take some time to do some exploration. I'm gonna burn through my runway credits so you don't have to. All right, we're gonna to go to Gen 2 and start with an image. Um, I've already uploaded these to the assets, so I'm just gonna go in here. Um, let's start with this fish one. Um, I click on motion brush. It automatically starts with this first brush, so all you have to do is click in here. I'm just gonna go like this and I'll change the brush size a little bit smaller so I can get these fins in there. But what we're gonna do here is have this fish move down in the frame. So we're gonna click down a little bit like that. Then we'll have this other fish move into it. And what I'm curious about is for this other fish, if it's gonna be moving into the area that was occupied for this. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens there. So let's move this one down um, like four. And I'm gonna click brush two, and you'll see it's a different color. And we're gonna do this one here. All right, I want him to go not just horizontal, but horizontal and down. So I'm gonna go like about two, and then down about one. So he's going that way. All right, then let's do another brush. And there's this water over here, and there's a palm tree. So let's do um, this brush here. And let's just get some of this in here, because I imagine that this fish that's swimming away is going to leave a little bit of a ripple, maybe. Um, so let's just do this. All right, and then for the ambient noise. So ambient noise, like this is moving left and right, up and down, forward and back. Ambient noise is sort of like, as I understand it, it's motion without moving the object around. So it's good for things like water reflections. So it's good for things where you want motion, but you don't want it to move within the frame. All right, so let's save that and generate it. All right, they're, they're moving, but they're not moving enough. So what I can do is redo this by clicking down here on the brushes and it saves all of the brush locations. Um, and instead of four, let's go about go seven. And for this one, for this fish here, instead of two, we'll go, oops. Instead of two, we'll go four and then down to 0.5, how about? So now that one's moving that way. And then I almost feel like the ambient, oh, I didn't do any ambient. Let's add a little ambient. So it's funny, I, I used the brush, but I didn't, I painted, but I didn't actually make any change and it still changed it a little bit. But let's see what happens if we actually say, here's 1.5. We're gonna generate this one. Now we get our little history over here. Click down there, wait for that one. This is with no ambience. This is actually what I'm interested in because there's some here, but this is kind of static, and this is what we painted over with the brush. So I'm curious to see on this one if we get more ambient noise reflecting there. If you look, there's a lot of ambient noise in general, things that I didn't even brush. So this sort of like kelpy kind of stuff here is moving, um, even though I didn't brush it out. So it still is adding motion to other parts of the image, um, even if you don't use motion brush. All right, let's see how this one worked out. I think it's good. This this fin kind of falls off there, and I'm I'm kind of curious. Did I not include it? But I did. But it kind of falls off and goes that way for some reason. You could play with this a little bit more, make this one move a little bit faster, maybe. And there's a little bit of trailing in the fin there, so maybe this part here would have been good to motion brush out with a smaller brush size, um, and make sure that we get the whole tail in. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this one. I'm gonna move on to the next one. So there's an open source version of Multi Motion Brush, and they had a picture similar to this of goats. 
and I kind of liked it. They're crossing the street. We can have them doing different things and we can have the clouds. We're going to have these two goats just crossing straight across. This goat is going to be moving closer to the camera and then the clouds are going to be moving. So let's make that happen. Um, first thing we're going to do is shrink this down a little bit because these, these are tiny goats and we'll just make them a little smaller. I wish you could zoom in. All right, and then we're just going to go to the right. Let's move them at about four. And then we'll click our motion brush two here. So now we're going to have the pink brush or whatever color this is. All right, now we're going to have this goat move vertical down and then maybe horizontal. Let's see, let's move him four. Like they were moving four. Let's have him move five. And then have the. So I think what we're doing is having this goat in front move to the right a little bit and down a little bit. And then we're going to zoom, like proximity, we're going to have it come in a little bit. We're going to. I think this is how this will work. So. My idea is that this will bring this goat along this road more by bringing him to the right and down and forward here. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then now let's do the clouds. So I can use a bigger brush for the clouds. So I'm just going to adjust the slider here for the brush and do the bigger ones. And let's do these. Let's do these top clouds here. One speed. So these are closer in the sky. So let's have these move a little bit faster. So we're going to move these to the, looks like the wind's going that way, if I understand right. I'm not a weather person. Let's have these move like uh, 5.4, sure. And then let's choose another brush, brush four here. And we'll just do these. Overdid it there, but who cares? So we'll do less motion here like two, but then I want to add some ambient noise to see if we can get some motion in these clouds so they look kind of interesting. Actually, maybe we should do more um, ambient noise on these. So let's just bump that up to like three for ambient noise. Um, yeah, and that's all we need to do for this. So let's click save and give it a shot. All right, here's the goats. Let's see how the goats worked out. Motion wise, I love it. Like this is exactly what we wanted them, how we wanted them to move. Um, these actually move. I feel like they're following along though. Like they, they should be going straight across. And I feel like they're coming this way a little bit. So it's almost like they've inherited the motion that this one's doing or something. Cause if you look at this, we're only moving horizontal. So they should only be in my mind, they should only be moving horizontal this way. And, um, there's no proximity setting, but when you see it, they're definitely moving up the road just like that one is. If you didn't use motion brush at all, it might do this anyway. So it's still doing some sort of intelligence in addition to motion brush, as we saw in the koi fish too. All right, let's try this little gremlin here. They did a doll image in one of their promotional videos. So I'm going to choose this little like gremlin kind of doll here. And let's just start by having, I think what we'll do is have like one eyebrow go up one eyebrow let's have this one go up this one go down he smiles his hair moves a little bit and his ears kind of like go down a little bit all right so to start we're going to do the eye the eyebrow that is going to go down so i'm just going to go in there and then i'm going to move this down like four then i'm going to switch to brush two go for the eyebrow then we're going to go up five and let's actually on brush one let's actually only go down a little bit so i'm gonna go um three maybe just so there's a difference we're gonna click brush three it's very similar to this color so it might be hard to see but see if we can get them to smirk a little bit so um if this one's going up and this one's going down it might be fun to have just this part go up just a little bit so different than this. So this is going up or this is going up five. We don't want it to go up five. So let's just have it go up like two and a half. So just this side. And then for it to smirk, we don't want this side to go up. So let's go here. 
and get this side of his mouth. And let's do nothing here because this will basically say don't move. Like this is how it should work. So we want to lock this down as no motion by having zero for this. So we're not going to move the hair. Let's see, because we ran out of brushes. Um, but for this, let's just have the ears go down a little bit. And we'll move those down a little bit like that. All right. So we've got this eyebrow going down, this eyebrow going up more than this one's going down. We've got the left side or his right side, le our left side of the mouth going up. So hopefully that kind of turns into a smirk. This side is going to not move. So we've put no motion in here. So we should keep this here and then that way this side just goes up. And then we're gonna have these ears go down a little bit. All right, let's see how it worked. Save and generate. Okay, not great. <laughs> um, I think, so this one is up a lot. So technically like this ear is going down. That's not what I pictured necessarily. I'm trying to figure out how to improve this. Like what did I do wrong? And I did this once before, let me see. Assets, will it show me? So I did one of these before and this is how it turned out and it turned out a little bit better. And so it's like, oh, what did I do differently that time? And here it says vertical mixed ambient 3.8. Um, and I want to be able to do this one again. So what I can do is click this button here, Gen 2. And now if I go to the motion brush there, now this is, it's kind of confusing because we did, I did a very similar thing, but this is the old motion brush. And you can tell because there's some ambient stuff for the hair there, which I didn't do in the last one. Um, and the colors are a little bit different too. So, um, these were the settings that I used and what I'm going to do is have this brush that's going down. I'm not going to do it quite as much. I'm going to do it like one point. I'm going to do it 1.3. And since I have, did I use all my brushes? Oh, I did use all my brushes. I was going to just have his eyes not move, but I've used all my brushes. So let's do this. And maybe having this ambient hair keeps his head in place. I don't know. This is just all a theory, but I wonder if it's helping it keep this from moving around. Um, so I'm going to save that and generate. Oh, it was good. Like I would use right about there and then I might cut it because it kind of goes down a little too hard. Yeah, not bad. I know a lot of people are really into character animations and I don't have a lot of background in that. If you actually knew what you were doing with animating faces like this, you would probably um, get a much better result, but that's not bad. I wanted to try out this dolly zoom motion. What is a dolly zoom? So a dolly zoom is where you are moving the camera toward the person while you're zooming out. And what happens is the background um, moves faster than the person in the front and it creates this sense of vertigo. And it was actually used for the first time by Alfred Hitchcock in the movie Vertigo. Or not the first time, but that's where he perfected it. It's like a moment where something changes, you'll see it a lot. So it's a really fun, dramatic thing to do. This is an image of me that I generated with Full Journey. So I trained a Laura and now I can just put myself in any AI video that I want to, which is super fun. There's a link in the description if you want to know how to do that. All right, so in order to do this motion, what we're gonna do is the background is gonna zoom in a lot. I'm gonna zoom in a little, and then the camera is gonna zoom out. All right, so to start, we'll take our first brush and we're gonna, we're gonna paint the background. And so what we're gonna do for brush one is we're gonna move this all the way to 10. This is what they did in their demo. So we're gonna have the motion is 10 here. And now we're going to take brush two, and this will be me. And I'm just going to move myself forward again. So I zoomed, so I zoomed the background 10. I'm going to zoom myself, say two. Once we're done with the motion brushes, we move over to the camera motion, which is separate, and then we'll zoom out. So we'll just go 
click this and zoom out once and then we'll click save. Let's see how this dolly zoom worked. I'm going to do three. So I'm going to change this up. So I can't move this anymore, but I'm going to move this a three. So I'm, it feels like I'm receding into the background a little bit to me. So I'm going to do that. So then for the zoom, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I'm going to zoom out like three and see what happens. And we'll generate that one. All right. So, so it's the first one. Here's the second one. So I'm receding in the background because this is a three and this is a two. So this is the last one I'm going to try for this one, but I'm going to do a three. So that way the amount that we're zooming in here is equivalent to the amount that we're zooming out here. I got, I'm not sure why it got darker. I mean, I guess it makes sense because this light goes away and then it reacts to that. So that's pretty cool that it did that. One reason this feels off to me is that it's in slow motion. Let's bring it in and speed it up and see if that looks any better. I think speeding it up helps that drama that you expect from this camera move. All right, here's some birds I created in mid journey. So I, I did just this eye. We'll do this one too. And we'll just have it look toward them a little bit. And then, so we'll have these two birds go down and then we'll have this bird. We'll use brush three to have this bird. I'm not gonna do their whole body. I'm just gonna do this top part. This bird is gonna go up three. So they'll go down, he'll go up. He's gonna look over. I'm curious to know if it'll keep these in place. So let's do some um, ambient noise to their hair. I bet it would just do this anyway, but I'm just going to put it in there. Since we've got another brush, let's have those clouds just drifting a little bit that way. We'll add some ambient noise. I like the ambient noise. All right, we'll save that and generate. For this bird, I was hoping just the eyeballs moved. That's why I only chose the eyeballs, but the whole head moved, which is fine, even though the beak goes a little bit. I'll recreate one of their little videos that they did. Let's go back here and let's erase those eyes. Then we'll go back to, we want this brush three. So this is the one that's going down. So we don't need to redo this, but all we're gonna do is, oops, I have to go back to the paintbrush. I have to go back to my paintbrush. Um, and we'll just paint this here. So now these two will go down, that one will go up. All right, let's try that. So it's really slow when you see it, but then if you bring it in, you can speed it up and reverse it and do fun things like that. Ideally, you might not even have these clouds moving. You might want all of this to be static in the background. So that way, if you were looking to manipulate it like that, you wouldn't have the background moving at all. So I created this in mid journey, and this might be a good time to ask, how are these private companies getting their training data for all of these different images. So I wanted it to be Michael Jordan and I put his name in to see what would happen. And I had NBA and you'll see like there's the NBA logo and all of those. They know he's on the bulls. They all look like him. His number is never 23 though. I'm not sure if that's intentional. Like if there's a reason he's not 23. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this arm go down and this arm go up. Um, and his head's going to go up a little bit, hopefully, as he's looking towards, maybe it's, maybe his head goes forward a little bit. So let's do that. So let's go, we're going to have this one, brush one is going to go down like three, let's say, and we'll click on brush two. Brush two is going to go up, let's say three. So that goes down, that goes up. His head is gonna move forward. So let's do brush three. So let's just move his head forward just like a little bit. All right, let's see how this one did. Let's see if we got close. Not really, but I mean, it's kind of there. So I did the whole arm there. What I'm gonna do is just part of the arm. So I'm gonna go into my eraser. Just kind of get that 
increase it a little bit and just have this part come down. So it almost like bends the arm. And then I'm gonna do something similar here. And then I'm gonna use this other brush, which I haven't used yet. I'm gonna add a new brush now. This is going up three. So for the head motion, I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna keep that there, but I'm gonna keep it all at zero and hopefully his head won't move that much. Um, and then I'm gonna add this fourth brush for the basketball. Whoops, I'm on eraser still, so I have to switch over to the paintbrush back, back here at the paintbrush. I'm gonna choose the basketball. And then this part of the arm. And I'm gonna do this one, let's see. So this part of his arm is moving three. I'm gonna have this part move five. So this will move up more, and I hope it just brings the rest of his arm up. So let's try that. I try to do videos like this every week or so to help people understand how to use different AI video tools and things that are out. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, make sure you subscribe and um, go have fun making something with Motion Brush.